Series B75. This is a brass solenoid valve, suitable for high temperature applications and steam. It can also be used for higher pressure applications with a correct coil. Normally the unit comes supplied with the high temperature coil, which this one is suitable for temperatures up to 180 degrees Celsius, medium temperature and high ambient temperatures as well. It's an IP55 rated coil with flying leads um, and fiberglass insulated. The unit has a direction of flow on the base, a little arrow in direction of flow, so your inlet port is on this side, outlet is there. The unit can be combined to have either the F coil, which is a flying lead, or the DIN coil, which has the IP65 rating. With the DIN coil, it's applied to this valve. It gives the valve a rating of 20 bar, so for suitable for various types of media and air up to 20 bar application. With the IP55 coil, it is suitable for steam and uh, high temperature applications up to 180 degrees Celsius, but up to 10 bar rating. Coil has, the armature has a PTFE seat and a spring assembly like this, metal to metal faces. The seat sits on the top of there, and there is a stainless steel jet inside there. PTFE seat sits on top. Uh, the air pressure or the steam pressure holds that closed, and the armature then pulls that open. So the unit is pulled open like that. When it pulls open, the steam pressure goes down through here and vents the pressure off the top of the pilot assembly inside, allowing the valve, main valve to open. I'll show you the pilot assembly. Inside here, it's all PTFE seals. There's the main pistons, main seat, and the pistons themselves. It's a piston valve, the spring assembly. It's similar to a car piston, so inside, underneath here, there is springs which hold the unit in place. So the PTFE seat is held out and open by the spring that's underneath it, so the spring holds them open. So the piston goes up and down, there's a wiper seal at the base, the main piston at the top, all 316 stainless with a PTFE seat on the base. That PTFE seat and assembly sits down like that, it's held down there and when the pressure is relieved on the pilot side it lifts up with the media pressure and then the air or steam flows downstream. When the pilot assembly is shut off, piston closes again.